So Windows 11 has just released and I'm going to show you how to install it on an M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So traditionally, if you wanted to run Windows on an Intel Macintosh, then you can just use the Boot Camp Assistant to install Windows native. However, this is not an option with the M1 Apple Silicon ARM chips and therefore we have to virtualize Windows instead. Thankfully, Parallels have released an excellent virtualization software, which is M1 native. Please check the link in the description for the Parallels 14 day free trial. And if you use the code AppleWiki10, then you'll receive a 10% discount and you'll be helping to support my channel and the work that I do. So once you're on the Parallels website, all you need to do is to click download free trial. And then we can click the download button. We'll click allow and then okay here. And then we'll click the download Parallels button there. Once the install parallels desktop.dmg is downloaded, we'll double click on it. And then we're going to double click on this install parallels desktop icon. Press open here. Press OK to give permission to access the downloads folder. And then let the application download. Then we'll enter our password. And then the software will begin initializing. And then we're going to be met with this installation assistance screen. What this is telling us is that we're not able to run x86 operating systems. So in order to install Windows, we need to use Windows 11 ARM rather than Windows 11 x86. So here I'm going to click continue. So here I'm going to press continue to install Windows. And now it's asking us for a VHDX file. So I'm going to minimize this and show you how to do the next step. So for the next step, we need to visit the website insider.windows.com and we need to sign up for the Windows Insider program. This is despite the fact that Windows 11 has already released. The Windows 11 ARM is still an Insider build. So what we need to do is to sign into our account, press next, enter our password, not now, stay signed in. So now that we're signed into our Microsoft account, we can go to the About section here and then go to the Windows Insider program. And then we're going to register here. Make sure to read the terms and then click the Accept button and register. Now click Flight Now. So now that we are signed into a Windows Insider Microsoft account, please click the next link in the description, which will take us directly to the Windows 11 ARM VHDX file. So what we can do now is to click on the blue link, which will download the latest version of Windows 11 ARM. So just let that run for a bit. It's a 10 gigabyte download, so it might take a bit of time. So once the file is downloaded, we can just minimize Safari and we can go straight back into the Parallels Install Assistant. And then we can click here, Find Automatically to find the Windows 11 ARM that we've just downloaded. Now we can press Continue. And now we can select what we're gonna use Windows for. I want to get maximum performance, so I'm gonna select Games Only and press Continue. Here it's asking us to name it. It's still defaulting to Windows 10. What I'm gonna do is to type in what I wanna call my virtual machine. I'm naming it Windows 11 ARM, and now I'm gonna press Create. So once the installation completes, we can click here to continue, and then Parallels will automatically full-size your virtual machine and then begin the Windows update. So you can see that Parallels has handled all of the Windows setup. It has created your local account already, and has even started downloading the latest update. So one of the important settings we should also enable is virtual TPM. Thankfully, virtual TPM support was added to the standard edition of Parallels, so you don't have to spend any extra money for the Pro Edition. We can use the standard edition to enable virtual TPM support. So to do so, we should shut down the virtual machine by clicking on the power button and then shutting down. What you can do is to click the Parallels logo at the top here and then go to Control Center. And then with our virtual machine, we click the cog icon here. And then we click the hardware tab and then we click the plus button here and we're going to add a TPM chip and click add here. So now we can close the settings and then open Windows 11 ARM. So if we now go to the start menu and type in the command tpm.msc and press enter, then this will show that the TPM is now enabled on this computer. If I close this window and then go to the settings, you can see that it's actually downloading the next update successfully. We won't get that error message again. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.